today we are going to discuss about the Cushing reflex Cushing reflex is basically related to cranium so first uh, we will discuss about cranium cranium is a two edged sword okay because it uh, at one hand provides protection to the brain but other hand can cause injury because if the because it limit the tissue expansion of the brain so it can also cause injury by limiting tissue expansion so it can injure the brain by limiting tissue expansion following injury okay so i have called it as a two edged sword because it is providing protection as well as it can also injure the brain tissue and all of us know that all the tissue when get injured respond to swelling and bleeding okay so injury to brain also causes swelling and once swelling occur this leads to increase in the intracranial pressure intracranial pressure will increase due to swelling of the brain tissues now coming to one more term cerebral perfusion pressure what is cerebral perfusion pressure it is the difference of mean arterial pressure minus mean arterial pressure and intracranial pressure if mean arterial pressure is greater than intracranial pressure then blood flow to brain is normal so for blood flow to brain mean arterial pressure must be greater than intracranial pressure because this is suppose this is blood vessel and this is the surrounding area where tissues of the brain are present okay and if pressure inside the blood vessel is greater than the surrounding area then nutrients can flow out of the blood vessel but if intracranial pressure is greater then the flow of nutrients to the tissues will not occur okay so cerebral perfusion pressure is mean arterial pressure minus intracranial pressure and for the blood flow to brain mean arterial pressure must be greater than intracranial pressure when swelling has occurred in the brain then it will lead to two things first swelling lead to compress compression of blood vessels because the tissues beside the blood vessels has get swollen and it will compress the blood vessel and if blood vessel get is get compressed then blood oxygen supply to the brain will decrease and if this will decrease arteries begin to dilate and once arteries begin to dilate it will increase the permeability of capillaries okay and if capillary permeability will increase then more fluid will move from capillary to the interstitium and this will again increase intracranial pressure okay if capillary suppose this is capillary and if diffusion increases due to the increased permeability then more fluid get accumulated in the interstitium this will again increase intracranial pressure decrease blood flow to brain decrease oxygen supply as we have discussed in this diagram and due to the decrease oxygen supply function of pump that is sodium potassium sodium potassium pump get decrease as a function of pump get decrease there will be more accumulation of sodium inside cell because pump is throwing three sodium outside of the cell and two potassium inside so if the pump is get dysfunction then three sodium will not be thrown outside so sodium will start to accumulate within the cell and this will cause cellular edema which will eventually lead to the cell death and response to this swelling a uh, cushing reflex will occur and it involve three things that is a hypertension bradycardia and irregular breathing now discussing one by one when intracranial pressure will be greater than mean arterial pressure it will lead to the activation of sympathetic nervous system which will cause vasoconstriction which will increase the mean arterial pressure and try to normalize the blood flow okay because when our intracranial pressure will be greater than mean arterial pressure then there will be decreased blood flow to the brain tissues so it will lead to the activation of sympathetic nervous system which will cause vasoconstriction and try to increase mean arterial pressure so first one is vasoconstriction and once vasoconstriction has occurred the arterial pressure has get increased so increase arterial blood pressure and if the blood pressure has increased then it will lead to the stimulation of baroreceptors which will slow down your heart that is bradycardia 
so the first step is vasoconstriction which has led to the stimulation of baroreceptor which causes bradycardia and the third one is that raised intracranial pressure as we have discussed which will increase pressure on the brain on all the tissues on the cell all the cells of the brain so it will also causes pressure on the brain stem part and in brain stem medulla has respiratory centers so it will also put pressure on the medulla and the cells of the respiratory center so it will cause irregular breathing due to compression of the vrg ventral respiratory group dorsal respiratory group and the other centers means preborzinger complex so raised intracranial pressure will lead eventually to irregular breathing so as far we have discussed that cushing triad in the first one is hypertension due to the vasoconstriction of the blood vessels to increase mean arterial pressure the second one is bradycardia due to the stimulation of baroreceptor and the third one is irregular breathing due to the compression of the brain stem that is vrg drg and preborzinger complex thanks for watching